uh, field you are, I think is one of the main aspects that will help you succeed today, not only as a, as a music artist, but as an artist in general, that being authentic, like we said before, and what else, what else can make you a successful uh, artist today? And by successful, I mean somebody that breaks through the clutter of quality and quantity of people on the internet. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> uh, taking it one day at a time, you know, I'm learning as I go. But I think I think right now, like the most honest answer I can give is just passion, you know, passion and ambition. It, it takes a lot. You're going to get a ton of no's. You're going to face a lot of obstacles. But, you know, the, the people that you see break through and really make it are the ones that, you know, are so passionate about what they're doing and, and you know, can really give their all to every project, you know, big or small whether they're collaborating with a mega superstar or one of their close friends, you know, you have to have that passion and that drive. Um, And also you have to know how to surround yourself with the right support system. I think especially in creative industries, it's really easy to fall into the trap of, you know, whether it be clout chasing or even just people that aren't going to vibe with you, you know, and aren't going to help you grow, but knowing the people you can surround yourself, like, having converse, having those conversations and seeing the kind of people that, you know, are going to be able to have conversations that are productive and are going to be able to support you and, you know, help you, you know, learn things about yourself, I think is really, really important. I think it's true. I, I don't, I'm not necessarily saying that I used to not be surrounded by the correct company, but I maybe didn't have the peace of mind because of whose opinion and whose uh, standards I was following. And mm-hmm when I realized that the people that I was looking up to had nothing to do with my creative process and nothing to do with me and my career and my well-being, I was like, that's okay. I can still be <clears throat> a friend with you, but yeah, of course. I'm not There's going nothing against to those involve you in this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's nothing against those people or those relationships and they're still very useful for other parts of your life, you know, exactly. but it's just knowing which people are gonna, you know, help you with your your creative passions and you know your projects and knowing the people that you can go to to talk things out and the ones who are gonna you know help you figure things out for you and for no other reason do you have like a your people that you go to every single time you write or do something you send you yeah, send the, sure. the song to them yeah oh for sure um I think it, like the top of that list is just my family you know they've always been <laughs> so so supportive of my art and yeah. you know everything like that so I'll write a song yes. and I'll immediately go into the living room <laughs> and I'll be like, Mom, turn off the TV. Listen to what I just made, you know. And uh, typically, you know, you can gauge their reactions to see if you got something or you don't, you know. Uh, yeah. My best friend also, you know, I can send things to her any any point in the day. She's a great hype person, <laughs> you know, <laughs> make me feel good. Um, but also in terms of like, you know, more career oriented oriented moves, uh, Remy on, you know, on the Museum team is a great yeah. resource. He's one of those people that you can call about anything. And instead of just, you know, giving his opinion or giving advice, he'll help you reach a decision. Yeah. You know, he'll help you talk through it and you can figure out what, you know, the choice that you want to make. And right. Yeah, so he's I just a great had him last week. I mean, two weeks ago, I had him on the, on the podcast too. He's a, he's a great like tool for, for musicians as well. Oh, and yeah. it doesn't surprise me that he's on your list. <laughs> Um, yeah, of course. He's the best. I was going to ask you, how many hours a day do you spend on, like, just, I mean, do you dedicate to music, not spend? Like, how many hours do you not even, like, think about music, do music? How much time does music occupy your, your day, both uh, yeah. theoretically and practically? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, those are, those are two different things because music is, you know, part of every second yeah. of my day, of course. But I think... I think I can divide it into two two categories. One is therapeutic music. So that would be just, you know, sitting down and playing a song on the piano or uh, listening to music or singing along or having a little karaoke set session, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. And for me, that's at least, at least an hour a day, if not more. Like anytime I get a break or say I'm working on a project, like a non-music project and I need to kind of reset, like I'll just, I have a piano right here. I'll just wheel my chair over, take a little break, reset myself. So of course that's, that's tons. That happens a lot throughout the day. Um, In terms of like actual productive creativity and, you know, working on projects and, and, and songwriting, it definitely depends on whatever stage in my life I'm in right now. I, I, I've kind of been challenging myself to be creative every day. Uh, I'm doing, you know, some songwriting clubs. I'm doing some more collaborations with people to hold myself accountable, but also, I've been challenging myself to write a song every day. 
whether mm. it be a full song, an idea, a sketch, you know, whatever it be, like I, I, I have to sit down, I have to dedicate time to, to songwriting. And I think that's been really important for me because as a creative person, sometimes you can't control when creativity strikes. Like sometimes it'll be two in the morning when you're supposed to be sleeping because you have a meeting, but you yeah. can't control that, you know? <laughs> so for me, it's been at least within the past month, trying to to channel that and trying to get into like a better creative workflow. Um, so recently, I'd say probably four to five hours a day of like productive music work. Right. That's that's a lot. Like at the end of the week, you know, seven times four, 28 hours, 30 hours. And I know that you're doing like a bunch of stuff as well. Um, that's that's a lot. You know, you're also helping on Museamp. And what other things have you got going on? Uh, my list of projects is endless. Uh, I'm the kind of person that needs to be super busy to be productive. Sounds familiar. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know, you know all about that. Um, so yeah, I have, I mean, I have lots of things lined up uh, for the future. I have some, some new collaborations coming maybe, maybe uh, in March with some people you may know. I may or may Uh, not know. Yeah. May or may not. (laughs) Yeah. So that's exciting. I've been doing a lot of press work for the album, of course. Um, I've been doing some freelance gigs. I've been, you know, doing some audio editing. Of course, the endless job, the job yep. hunt <laughs> takes up a lot of time. <laughs> How many applications have I put out? Um, Where do musicians yeah, apply to jobs? See, it's a little, it's a little different. Um, since I, I went to school for music and technology and I have a, a pretty sturdy engineering background, I've been uh, applying for a lot of audio engineering jobs, whether it be okay. like A2ing or, or, you know, board oping or whatever. So, yeah. Um, for me, like I've been using, you know, typical job hunting places, Indeed, LinkedIn, all that stuff. Um, okay. For for like a just straight musician work, <laughs> I don't know. I how really do do, look, I don't know what to like, tell you. <laughs> how who hires? Like, is there a place that hires people? Like, what kind of positions? I was like, that's what I was asking. Like, kind of positions you look for? So, audio engineering. Like, what what else is there? Like, do they hire people? Do you work more on contract or can you actually work for a company, like have an actual nine to five with a company? Oh, yeah. No, you can definitely work for an actual company uh, and have a nine to five job. A lot of that will be, you know, m- managing a studio or or uh, like a soundstage or working for a production company or being an okay. associate producer on a podcast or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's as in any industry, there's an endless amount of jobs. But yeah, for 